some pretty interesting reporting out of the Daily Beast. Some of our friends over there actually uh, had this report that privately Trump is wishing that he was running against Hillary Clinton again. Uh, basically, the thesis here is that Joe Biden has been a little bit tougher to dirty up mm -hmm. than Hillary was. Like with Hillary, there was like already mistrust, like the corruption had been out that she'd been in the public eye yeah, for, was, you know, you know, of course, Joe Biden's been in the public eye for a long time, too. But there was just a kind of natural unlikability about Hillary. And I would say some sexism involved there, too, that Joe Biden doesn't have. I would add to that, though, that it's also such a different moment. Yeah, that maybe some of the things that they're trying to prosecute against Joe on China, on Hunter Biden, on all of, on Tara, like all of those pieces, they might land in a different way at a different time. Yeah, I think so too. I mean, there was something about Hillary. It was just like when he said crooked H, everyone was like, yeah, you know, that's, that makes sense to me. It was just something that like resonated with a lot of people. With Biden, it's just a lot more difficult. He seems much more likable. He seems he's got that like affable some, personality. He's got, affable he's got a better brand. Even though he says absolutely outrageous things, which we will cover. Like, this is a real doozy what we have for you later in the show. <laughs> um, and uh, you can see that with a lot of Americans, I mean, they just don't hate him the way yeah. that they hated Hillary. And that's, I mean, he doesn't lean it. He does have his gaffes and he does have those moments, but he doesn't have them in the same way way that Hillary well, would do that whole like we're gonna put a lot of coal miners out of work right. well that was the thing what? about yeah. her I don't even know I mean that was part of it is yeah. she would say things like that and you're like oh but I actually think <laughs> the fact that Joe is not so smooth in mm -hmm. his language is sort of endearing to people right she had this problem of being over sort of practiced weighing every word where you could see like the, you know, memorization of the focus group test in her mind. Joe has a little bit more of a natural way. I mean, he's, as we've covered here, he's not the most like eloquent. Right. Um, but I actually think in a way that plays into his likability and into his like, I'm not a fancy guy, middle class Joe mm -hmm. persona, even as we know the policy record tells a very different story, basically carrying water for the you know largest and, and most well-funded right. interest in the country. But I think just on the like surface level piece, he is a more naturally likable likable politician. Mm -hmm. Yeah, certainly. And, you know, at the same time, I mean, Trump is very much committed to the reopen, reopening the economy and keeping it that way. He addressed it a little bit um, at an appearance in Michigan yesterday. People say that's a very distinct possibility. It's standard. And we're going to put out the fires. We're not going to close the country. We're going to put out the fires. There could be, whether it's an ember or a flame, we're going to put it out. But uh, we're not closing our country. And Sagar, this yeah. is the thing, is as much as the Trump team wants to make this a referendum, mm -hmm. they want people to pay attention to, you know, subpoena, subpoenas of right. Hunter Biden and this sort of stuff. This is the story, right? This Not is the one thing. The story. It is the only, only story. story. I mean, <laughs> yeah. Biden is almost irrelevant, yeah. really. And so there's like this sort of vague, warm fuzzy about him. He's heading out in the basement, although he came out from the basement for an unbelievable appearance on The Breakfast Club that we are going to bring to you. Oh, yeah. Hold that thought. Um, but he's hiding out in the basement. People are going off their sort of warm, fuzzy memory of him. And meanwhile, this story of how you are handling the pandemic in real time is the story, and it get, ain't going so well, especially for seniors who are rightfully terrified about losing their lives. And comments like this, look, who knows whether he'll actually stick to this. He's been all over the map, which is a problem in and of itself. But that he would basically say it doesn't matter if there's another spike. We're just going to keep going. It's very disconcerting for people who are just looking at the polling, however you feel about it, looking at the polling, people are much more concerned about reopening too soon than about staying closed. That is the, the political dynamic that exists. And you can see right now, I mean, this was a tight race before all of this began. You can see Senator Martha McSally in Arizona. They're already, you know, people are advising the campaign that she's not doing so well. Let's put the polls up there, which is that in the latest polling that's been taken in Arizona, it shows Martha McSally down by 13 points, which is a literal disaster. And actually, wow. Biden has led, I think, every poll in Arizona by a small uh, by a small margin yeah. in the last couple I of months. I want to say the last one, he was up by about seven. And right. Arizona— That's hard to believe. But, but, yeah, but I, mean, I mean, but even with a margin yeah. of error— yeah, That's bad. Right. Arizona has been a pretty red state. And it is one of those states that is— trending more towards Democrats. The demographics there are the type that are trending more blue. 
And Mark Kelly is, Mark Kelly's well-known, obviously, right. husband of Gabby Giffords, an astronaut and hero in his own right, um, relatively conservative Democrat, I would say, centrist Democrat, but well-known in the state. Uh, and right now, I mean, for him to be up 5138, even if that's like a little bit of an outlier, that's a big deal. That's pretty stunning. Yeah. Um, and and has implications not just for Arizona, but for across the country. And that really does come down to where Trump is in the polls and how people are processing his response. He has the lowest coronavirus handling mm -hmm. approval of anyone except one per one governor. Um, and it was really it was really all there for him in the beginning if he had just been competent, forceful, clear, et cetera. Uh, but where things stand today, not good. Yeah, certainly. All right. More rising for you after this.